I think any time that you've been through something before, it makes it a little bit easier that next time through it and that following time through it. So certainly my experiences as a head coach, I've had a chance to take over two other programs and this will be my third here and I think I need to draw upon those experiences, um, you know, both good and bad uh, as far as what we went through in those situations, what situations arose, how we handled them and try to learn from those experiences moving forward into this into this situation here. It's no different than what we try to talk to our players about about you know evaluating a game and try to learn from both the good and bad things you know I, th I look back at you know my time at Bryant and I'm certainly very proud of what we accomplished there and and some of the players we had there and some of the seasons we had but I look back at our first year there and uh, you know we didn't have a very good year and you know certainly maybe we weren't as talented as some of the other seasons but I think there's some things we could have done as coaches to help us along a little bit more as a team and and uh, you know certainly give those guys a little better experience during that season so I think you take the good and the bad from those experiences and and hopefully that'll help me in this role here at William & Mary. Yeah I mean the goals uh, first off they're pretty simple we want to win um, we want to try to get to the top of this conference we want to make the NCAA regionals and I think we want to do our job to establish the William & Mary baseball program on a national level um, now that's not an overnight thing um, it, that's certainly a process to get to that point but I think we need to focus on the day-to-day you know, um, getting better each day as players and as coaches and also trying to enjoy that process and getting to that point. You know, this is a fun game and, and it should be something that they enjoy being out there on the baseball field. They enjoy what goes into making this a winning program. And I think, uh, you know, we need to do our job to enjoy that process while we're building this thing. You know, and if we can give those guys a good experience here as they leave and, and their alumni, you know, in the area and around the country, I think we want to keep those guys involved. We've got a great alumni base here that we need to continue to develop. Um, but I think if we can do all those things, there's no reason we can't establish William really & Mary on a national level. Yeah, you know, we, we had a pretty good year, I think. Uh, halfway through the year I think we were really looking like we were rolling along pretty well and uh, you know unfortunately you know we lost some tight games there you know in the second half of the year but I think we did a lot of things really well I think individually a lot of players took a step forward and uh, became better players than they had been that previous season I think certainly if you look at what we were able to accomplish on the mound uh, we had some pitchers who had some pretty darn good seasons and, and overall as a group you know they had an ERA of I think it was 3.01 um, which led the conference and was 13th in the country uh, so we were certainly very proud of that we threw a ton of strikes we did a good job shutting down the running game uh, and I think from an offensive standpoint uh, maybe we struggled a little bit earlier in the year but I thought our guys did a really good job um, improving throughout the course of the year in, in much more competitive at bats and putting up some more runs the second half of the year so I think there's a lot of positives to build on and hopefully you know um, with the opportunity to continue to work with these guys and continue to build off some of those successes from last year and I think um, having a coach in place that was around here last year knows you know what went on good and bad I think is going to help us moving forward into the next season. Yeah I mean I think the big thing when you evaluate our season last year and what went wrong is you know we lost a lot of tight games uh, a lot of one run games I think we went seven and thirteen in one run games and and certainly the nature of baseball there's some luck involved in that you know with one run games you're going to win some and you're going to lose some you're going to have some blue pits fall in you're going to get a bad bounce here or there and you're not going to win every one of those games but I think what we need to try to do moving forward into next year as coaches and as players is to try to develop a little bit more um, competitiveness late in games a little bit more ability to deal with some of those pressure situations and I think we can do that a little bit through practice putting guys in situations where they have pressure on them and there's something on the line and again you know there's no way to, to simulate an exact situation of having a you know game-winning opportunity and at bat down at UNC Wilmington with you know the conference championship on the line but I think there's things we can do through the course of practice and and skill development wise putting those guys in situations where hopefully when they get into games they can handle those situations a little bit better and hopefully perform a little bit better in those tight games.